Hello everybody, welcome back to the Robert Cheek Show. I'm your host, Robert Cheek, where your personal best happens every day. I'm out here outside in the garden. Let me get the glasses off. The sun out here. It is September 18th. It's Friday, September 18th, 2009, and we still have summertime. You can see out here we got some sun. You know, if you can see that a little bit. I'm out here making my return to bodybuilding again. So I've had a lot of fun. I've been out there. Well, this is maybe my fifth day in a row, and I think maybe nine out of 11 days, something like that, or eight out of 10 days. So I'm back in action, making it happen, having a lot of fun out there in the gym again. So, you know, I had to take some time off to write my book. I talk about that, and I know some people are probably thinking when I announced my, my book, hey, Robert's so skinny now, he's so skinny now. Well, that you know, that's just something that happens when I really dedicated 15 hours a day or something into this certain project that I had to really focus, really concentrate, and quite frankly, take a little bit of break from training. And I'm okay with that because it allowed me to do some really phenomenal things in other areas outside of fitness that are still related to it. But now that I finished with that, I'm back in the gym, and obviously I can find a balance of both, but it was a combination of competing five times, not missing a workout for six months, and a desire to do some other things in business, in writing, in travel, and in a few other areas of life. So. Anyway, it's, it's great to be back. I know I, I'm a little bit smaller than I used to be, obviously, but with book tour coming up and book launch coming out uh, all, and all these things in just the next couple of months, it's time for me to get back in shape. And, and one of the ways to do that is to talk about it. The more we talk about it, the more consistent we'll be, the more accountable we'll be, and the more fun we'll have, and the more we can all uh, succeed and achieve together. So. I've been active on the veganbodybuilding.com website again. I've been active on the veganbodybuilding.com fan page on Facebook again. And most importantly, I've been active in the gym. I've been there, like I said, every day this week and I'm just about to head over there right now. So it's been a really fun time I'm training with Ed sometimes. Uh, may start training with Caesar again. Uh, I still see him there, my trainer. Uh, my friend David's there sometime, my friend Lisa, there's a whole bunch of us there. Maybe I can drag Giacomo back in the gym one of these days. He's in the documentary Vegan Brothers in Iron, so he better start getting back in the gym soon, just like I had to do, or I wanted to do, or chose to do. So, so anyway, that's just kind of been my, my story. People just were curious, naturally, I think, wondering what I've been up to and maybe why I took a break from training, and that's why. You know, body was, my body was tired. I didn't miss a workout from January to June, uh, six days a week, every single day, every single day. Uh, sometimes 12 out of 13 days or 13 out of 14 days. I mean, it was just a, it was a busy time. And not just training like, you know, a few little exercises or something like that. I'm talking like intense, hardcore, heavy lifts. I was even pressing 325 pounds on decline bench uh, before I took a break and 110 pound dumbbells, working my way up to 115s and 120s, getting excited about it, but took a break. So it was intense training and my body wanted to break, my mind wanted to break, and just everything about me wanted to focus some of that energy into completing that literary project that I've been working on all year. And finally got that done, and now I'm back. So, uh, so anyway, thanks for the support, I appreciate it. There's always ups and downs in bodybuilding, that's the way it is, whether it's injury related, uh, a change in interest related, um, success or failure related, there's always ups and downs and things changing all the time. And through it all, I always appreciate you guys supporting me and veganbodybuilding.com and Vegan Bodybuilding and Fitness and the book and the movie projects and the traveling and the veg fest, which by the way, coming up tomorrow, Portland Veg Fest, all day Saturday, Wear your shirt, vegan bodybuilding shirt, like this, and uh, your admission is covered on me. Just come by the booth and show me your shirt and uh, I'll get you back for admission. So, thank you, I gotta get to the gym now, I gotta get some food in me, get some Vega, Vega Sport pre-workout mix, get that rocking, and get some Vega or Sun Warrior after the gym, some glutamine, all that good stuff. The mentality's back, a little swagger back, you know, brush my shoulder off a little bit, and get myself back in the gym. So, let's see if I can get a little flex here. So you can see what I'm working with. A little smaller than I used to be, obviously. But it's gonna come back. <laughs> anyway, thank you again for watching. This has been the Robert Cheek Show, as always, where your personal best happens every day. Have a great day and have an outstanding weekend. See ya.